You guys, today at the corner of Southport and Cornelia, we're going to Crosby Kitchen for some filet sliders, a local Chicago restaurant, local Chicago food review. Puncture here. Yeah, guys, we're also doing a merch shout out for Jody Cook. She signed up for the uh, two pack subscription to the hot sauces. Once again, all caught up. I mentioned it before, like five new people signed up. Yep. Uh, they, they got jumped to the front of the line, so they like just bought this subscription probably like yeah. a week ago. And now we're going back to shouting out the old school guys who bought in 2000 and like 20, I yeah, bet we're probably. doing shout outs for. Yeah. So um, if the hot sub subscription, you get to jump to the front of the line. Uh, otherwise, it's if you buy multiple items. So, the, but that's like backlogged by like two years, just to let you guys know. But the most important part, Jody, we appreciate the support. We hope you love the hot sauce. Getting both our hotter and regular six sauce mailed to your door uh, step there we go. Every, <laughs> single, uh, every single month. So, hope you're loving it. And uh, thanks for the support. If you want to sign up, go to number6withcheese.com. All right, Crosby Kitchen. guys a bag of fillet sliders in there acquired from Crosby kitchen jump cut all right let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle all right let's see what we got here here's the sliders so uh, sliders little pieces of fillet steak so it's not even burger meat it looks like we've got that looks like that looks like a mayo but I know they've got blue cheese on the bottom and then candied uh, red onions damn so it looks pretty good toasted little buns um, Gonna eat some steak sandwiches. I'm kind of excited, day, man. Right? Do you know how much an order of these was? Yes, they're not cheap. This is 18 bucks on the menu, and then uh, base, essentially with taxes, 20 bucks. Okay, so 650 basically a slider. Yeah. And then bang on the big camera, this angle, looking steaky and delicious. All right, Crosby Kitchen fillet sliders. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. <laughs> That meat went right is, through. Yes, I'm so used to when we get steak sandwiches on here, it's always the chewiest, yeah. worst steak ever. It's like a dog toy. I forgot you can get steak that you can just, just chop right through. Oh my god, those candied onions are mm -hmm. delightful. Totally worth the money. <laughs> oh, those I'm are gonna really say good. Mm -hmm. It's a fun little treat yourself meal right here. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude, this is great. A lot of blue cheese. Mm -hmm. I like blue cheese. If you don't, these aren't going to be for you because that flavor comes in hot. I would do a substitution there mm -hmm. if I were you. Oh, do you have sixer sauce? You know what? I really want to try one of these. Sixer sauce. Damn, that blue cheese on that is really nice. Mm hmm. This is something I didn't know I was gonna ever crave, but now I'm gonna crave these. <laughs> these are pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Well done, Crosby's Kitchen. Also, how nice was that person when we ordered on the phone? She was delightful. A lot of delight going on today. A lot of delight. When I was just kind of like researching what to get and was looking at their page, a lot of people mm. saying, like, this is the family neighborhood restaurant on Southport. I believe it. It's like great for kids. Like, their menu is kind of like great for adults and children. They kind of really like honed in yep. on that. I could tell. I mean, everything on there, I, I'm a big kid. Like, I basically want those things. Mm -hmm. That whole menu, I, I would have smashed. Yeah, chicken tenders and whatnot. Yeah, like all kinds of, and then Fish like, sticks. but then a little, like, um, one of the adult things though, do you like deviled eggs? Yeah, yeah. Lobster deviled eggs. Mm. These would be great, like if you ate inside there and you got these as an appetizer, and like everybody grabbed one. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? This would be such a good, like, kind of one to smash. I can't believe how good these are. These are damn good. Oh my gosh, six or sauce on that. It really ramps it up in my opinion. I mean, it makes everything a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Some items it affects more. Mm -hmm. This is a high impact six or sauce yes. move. Earlier this week, we had Wagyu steak burgers from Arby's. Mm -hmm. I will take a filet oh, any day. from Crosby Kitchen. I'm addicted to these, dude. Wow. Great neighborhood too. Southport, we're in Lakeview. It's like, how do you describe this neighborhood where it's all these little like boutique shops? Yeah, it's like a lot of boutiques. I always call it like Strollerville. It There's is. There's a lot of like young parents here, which is a little bit not my style. But they also have really great restaurants. My favorite movie theater in the city, Music Box. Mm -hmm. They shut down this Southport during the summer for um, like on the weekend so you can kind of just walk around on the streets. They got all the chairs and everything come out to the roads. It's like a super fun neighborhood. So like we were talking the other week about places that there's dead zones where you yep. only go to eat, and there's places where you can make a night out of it. You can go eat and then go like find a bunch of activities in yeah. the area. Yeah, this is a great place to like 
come here, then you go to a bar, then you go to the music box to go see a midnight showing of the room. Yeah. It's like, there's so much fun stuff you could do. Yeah, it's loaded with spots, like absolutely. This is a really popular area to like, have your first kid and like live in these like mm -hmm. apartments over here. It seems like there's, there's a lot of that. I want this for my last one. Mm -hmm. God damn, dude, I can't get over how good these are. These are so good. This is one of the best things we've had on the show in a while. Like this is like a wow factor for me. Wow. Factor. Mm, 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 mm. This steak is so good. I just can't believe how easy it is to bite through it. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're in this area, a little tie into the vlog channel, just did an episode recently at, at Wrigley where they have Chris Kendall Market. For five bucks, you get to go onto the field. It's the best deal in Chicago. It's insane. You're walking around on the infield and outfield, and there's ice bumper cars, ice slides, a giant lounge where you can like hang out, drink beers, watch college football. It's one of the coolest things. I did it for my 100th vlog, which also I made this really cool intro for mm -hmm. that I would love for you guys to go check out. It's like super fun. I don't know. I did, did you see it? I posted yeah, it on the Instagram. Yeah, the time it was, yeah, I was nerding out about it. It was great. Mm -hmm. So check that video out. If you're in this area, like, yeah, you can grab dinner here and then go to Wrigleyville. Yeah, that $5 thing's nuts. But it's great. Good steal of a deal. Mm, 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 mm. Damn, dude. I would what take a, a touch of the blue cheese off, actually. Is my one. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, it's I a very overpowering cheese. Mm -hmm. You're very polarizing. I get that. I would also love to like, I know this is a little nit not nitpicky. This is just something I would love to have like three different versions of that with different like sauces and things on it. Mm. Like I kind of don't want three blue cheese ones. Yes, I agree. That's kind of why, why I brought up like the sharing it and getting mm -hmm. having one. Like I kind of would like one with like maybe some barbecue or like just some different flavor profile, like a hot mustard or something. Uh, but I get it. I mean, you're not going to do like three different sliders in one order. I understand, but. Now I will say I love blue cheese. There's a place in Toledo, Mancy's. It's a great steakhouse. Mm -hmm. And they do a blue cheese steak sauce. Yeah. Trump's blue cheese. I mean, it's heavily blue cheese based, but also cream based. It's just way better than a blue cheese. Kind of takes that high impact blue cheese flavor and mutes it a little bit with the kind of the cream. That's nice. Cause yeah, it can be very, it can be a touch much. A little overpowering. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I liked it better with Sixer sauce to kind of balance out the flavor. I there. think it needed it, yeah. If this had a blue cheese steak sauce rather than just a blue cheese to kind of like bring yeah. that flavor but not so hot, I think it would be just a little bit better. Uh, real quick, can we do some donation shout outs? I would love to. Some, some, some of our super thanks fans. Let's do it. All right, these are people who give us super thanks. So in our video, they give us a little tip, which we massively appreciate. Uh, big shout out to and you guys are gonna notice there's some two Hall of Famers yeah. on these, so <laughs> listen to this. Sport Freak 97, Jeff 32, thank you so much. Jim McFarland 2097, Sam Bliss 4125, Derek Boudreaux 2144, Jim McFarland 2097, Derek Boudreaux 2144, Jim McFarland 2097, Derek Boudreaux 2144, Derek Boudreaux 2144. Jim McFarland 2097, Derek Boudreau 2144, Jim McFarland 2097, Derek Boudreau 2144, Knockout King 3764, thank you. thank you, Derek Boudreau 2144, Derek Boudreau 2144, Jim McFarland 2097, and that's it ladies and gentlemen. Damn dude. Some real that's Hall incredible. of Famers in there. I like I how Jim McFarland's starting to pepper in there now. Dude, he's part of the crew now. Yeah. Like, those two are part of the daily like show and love crew and yeah. like, I mean, you guys, the only reason this show exists is because of you guys. We would not be able to keep this show alive if it wasn't for the support from you guys. So these $2 tips that we're getting from Jim and Derek, like popping in and throwing us those tips, those add up and make such a huge impact. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in doing that, can't do it on Facebook if you're a Facebook viewer, but on YouTube, there's a little super thanks button. You can kind of see it down at the bottom right by the like button and all that stuff. Just click on that, throw a number in there. And um, I mean, it really does go a long way and you're just kind of helping a couple, a couple schlups just hanging mm -hmm. out and Chicago trying to make a living doing this stuff, so we appreciate it. Yeah, because of that, we got to review this awesome local restaurant. Speaking of the review, should we get into the the, the, the breakdown a section? Absolutely. All right, filet sliders, let's break it down, then we'll get into the rating. Corey, you're up first. Okay, so obviously the steak was unbelievable. Like the fact that you could just bite right through it was amazing. I really love the candied red onions. The blue cheese was great, but after, like by the time I got to the third one, it was a bit much. Yeah. I really loved the ability to kind of balance it out with some Sixer sauce. So just always keep that in your bag or pocket. <laughs> if they were taking advice from me, which they shouldn't because obviously they're killing it. Mm -hmm. I do think they should try to balance those out with like, like you said, I really love your idea of having three different sliders. Yeah. Adds obviously you got to get inventory and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Or just like messing with that 
love to, to just, I mean, I'm all, I am I like blue cheese and it was a little too blue cheesy for me. Right. So, you know, maybe there's other people who are super fans and, and they that was the appropriate amount. So I, I don't know, who knows? Yeah. I could be being an idiot on that. The price tag, 18 bucks, I will say, obviously a little high, but this is definitely a bit of a more high-end restaurant. Mm -hmm. You can't tell because we're in the car, but this, yeah. this, if you saw their menu, they've got a lot of items that are a little pricier. So you do have to be ready for like a treat yourself type of move or if you're just like trying to be cheap and get great food this just isn't gonna be the spot for you but if you got some extra spending cash or maybe it's your birthday and this seems like a, a meal you'd be interested in it's not like hundred dollar meals no, you know? no 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 um, or if you're going with a big or you know three people if you're in a weird thruple and want to kind of split that three ways that's another doable move <laughs> it just says that on the door great for thruples <laughs> great for thruples little expensive at 18 bucks or you know six bucks a pop mm -hmm. for those yeah but you know like i said this is chicago this is a high-end restaurant you're you know you're getting what you pay for you, you get a two dollar slider and the the meat's going to be a little rougher yeah, so a little bit. that that is what it is but all in all great experience loved it thought the taste was uh damn good you made me really think about how many appetizers and starters and things like that are always odd numbers i always yeah. think like people go for the most part in even numbers to restaurants maybe i'm do just pe do people sh am i just a f the f world's fattest american I never share an app. An appetizer. No. Like you don't get stuff for the table? No, I for the see, table, I it's either for like... me or it's for me and my girlfriend. I'm never like, oh, the whole table pick us. I want that food. Quiet, fatty, fat, fat, fatty. You're, yeah, you're right. I just, I feel like that is something you'd throw on the, let me get into my thing now. I thought those were so good. Like I said before, that is one of like the more intriguing, fun, delicious items that really kind of knocked my socks off. Uh, a little bit intense with the blue cheese by the third one, like Corey said. I'd love a switch up. I think that would be a perfect score if they were a buck or two cheaper and then also different flavor pro profiles for the trio. Yeah. That to me would be like grand slam, score all four runs, we back on top, but uh, either way, really liked it. Mm -hmm. All right, so Alex Trebek, Play that song out of five here today. What do you rate it? Let's take a look. I'm gonna go, I think I feel pretty confident in the score. Sometimes I don't know if I'm miss scoring. Yeah, I feel that way sometimes too. But today I feel pretty good about this. Great with some hangups. Great with some hangups. <laughs> All right, and that song. Chick with daddy issues. I was gonna say, there's some analogy there you'll come up with. Okay, on the count of three, reveal your score here today. One, two, three. Ha! Yeah, that's pretty high. Yeah, the price. But you, we explained it. Never yeah. mind. I'll shut up. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it if you can. It helps us a ton to get the word out on number six with cheese. We're always trying to find a new audience. And then, real quick, so we can comment together down in the uh, little commenting section on YouTube's and on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, what would your three slider flavors be? B. You get to pick the trifecta. What flavors are you going? We want to hear it down below and we're going to comment ours as well. And of course, we're going to see you next, uh, next filming desk tomorrow, huh? Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm excited to be here. Let's eat some more calories on camera. Until then. Shh.